okay so let's start by dropping our user id column so for that we just need to write data dot drop and inside of that let's write columns is equal to we need user id user with capital i and d and let's keep in place is equal to true let's check data dot head as head is a function so let's check okay so we can see that uh, we have got exactly what we needed we have gender age estimated salary and purchase so for purchase let's check out how many unique values we have so data and square braces inside of this one right purchased and let's check unique I'm going to copy out the code okay so we have two values and if you want to check any unique you can check out the exact number of unique values we have number of unique values is two and the different unique values are zero and one zero is not purchased one is purchased so the first value is male of 19 years age with the estimated salary 1900 has not purchased the product similarly female with 26 years uh, of age of estimated salary 43,000 has not buyed out the product so uh, okay this looks good now let's do different kinds of plot into this so the first thing which I usually do if the data set is quite small and I don't have a lot of columns into this so I do a pair plot so this helps me get everything that we need in a single way so for uh, we can see the distribution of age and age uh, with age the distribution of age is somewhat like this estimated salary is this and for purchase you can analyze this a sort of a count plot also you can analyze that uh, for zero we have more data points and for one we have less data points so this is an imbalanced data set so what do we call an imbalanced data set imbalanced data sets are data set in which the values or the different values in different classes we have different amount of terms into that so what i mean by this let's say we have a class cat so for the class cat we might be having 50 images and for class dog we might be having 10 images so both you can see that are imbalanced and in these scenarios what happens is when you train a machine learning model the model will uh, will be trained much better for the cat except for the dog but as of now let's keep it as it is and check out the results of this as uh, the data set is not quite huge so you can just check the shape of it so we have only 400 values so i don't really think that we need a lot of it but let's plot out and count plot for both of them so sns count plot let's put x equals to data purchased let's check it out okay let's check this and yeah so we have almost 250 values more than 250 values for zero out of 400 more than 250 values for zero and almost uh, 150 values for purchase so this is an imbalanced data set but as the data set is very small so it doesn't really affect our model much now let's put a u on this so as a u i will put data and i'll check out the gender of it okay so we can see the distribution so over here you can see that most of the uh, male people the majority of male people have not bite it okay the product they have not bite it and the female also have not bite it but uh, less of male members have bite the product uh, comparing with the females one okay the more number of females have brought the product so that's one thing to notice and you can always share this insight with your company now let's put a scatter plot to check out uh, the distribution of them so sns again sns dot scatter plot 
scatter plot let's put x equal to age and y is equal to estimated salary estimated salary and let's keep data is equal to data okay let's keep this and the one thing that we need over here is let's check q is purchased if they are purchased or not okay so you can see that uh people who are higher in age yeah, like almost more than 50, 40 years uh, have mostly brought the product and people who are less than 40 so people who lie in this segment have not brought the product so this is again one interesting insight that you can share without uh, with your team so again one more way to read it this out is people with more estimated salary uh, tend to buy this product as you can see there's an uh, of a benchmark over here uh, so people with highest salary are uh, tend to buy this people with lower salary and lower age are not going to buy it so people with higher age the, your estimated salary also increases so you can always say that with a uh, higher age and higher salary uh, people are most willing to buy your product so you can always always target your audience for the product as someone who is quite old now let's plot one more plot before we just move into the encoding part so sns plot let's plot a uh, disk plot what this does is this will give us the distribution of data so let's write estimated salary let's check out for salary first okay so here we have the distribution so most of the data you can see that it lies between this range that is over here so here's the density in the y-axis and in the x-axis we have the estimated salary now all of these you can see that uh, mostly has been done by our pair plot so pair plot is something which i highly use a lot and a lot you guys can also prefer this out over here except of hue you can just press hue purchased and this will give you a more better insight so you can see that with age increment of age people also buy this product one is for this one okay so all of these plots uh, have been just conquered by the pair plot so always try to do a pair plot first and then move into different plots so that completes our eda this has given a lot of insight of our data and i hope your team will be very happy when you give them this kind of data to them in our next video we are going to encode our data first we are going to encode our data then we are going to split our data and then we are going to scale out our data so let's jump into our next video